Hello, this video was developed and produced by the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection to provide important information about upcoming annual gypsy moth treatments planned for Western Wisconsin in 2020. Gypsy moth is an invasive pest that is spreading across the state. This insect is most damaging during the caterpillar stage as it is a hefty feeder and can eat over 300 different plant species, with some of its favorites being oak, aspen, basswood, apple, crabapple, and paper birch. This insect was accidentally introduced in 1869 near Boston, Massachusetts, and it has been spreading west and south across North America ever since. Since this insect is not native, there are very few predators that are able to keep its population numbers in check. In Wisconsin, this insect is spreading westward, with the eastern two-thirds of the state generally infested and the western third currently uninfested. Here are some examples of the damage gypsy moth can do during population outbreaks. The image on the left is the defoliation of trees in 2010 in Menominee County. Notice the severe defoliation in the hardwood forest on the left of the road and the absence of defoliation in the conifer plantation on the right of the road. Gypsy moth can also ruin landscapes and require costly treatments from landowners and businesses when populations build. Caterpillars are large and very mobile. They have hairs that can irritate the skin and often gather en masse. Gypsy moth is a damaging pest in eastern states where it is well established. Here are some examples of news articles over the past five years documenting some of the issues this insect can present when populations get out of hand. The rationale for managing this insect is that slowing the spread of gypsy moth will delay the onset of costly management further down the road. This is an overview of our annual treatment plans in the state of Wisconsin. Our treatment plans are focused on spraying outlier infestations in western Wisconsin where the insect is not yet established. For 2020, we will spray 28 sites with BTK, totaling 14,657 acres in 13 counties. These counties include Bayfield, Buffalo, Burnett, Chippewa, Dunn, Grant, Green, Iowa, Lafayette, Richland, Rusk, Sawyer, and Vernon. These treatments may receive one or two applications depending on infestation severity. BTK treatments occur from mid-May to early June. BTK is made from a naturally occurring soil bacteria and is used in certified organic food production. It is not toxic to people, bees, pets, or other animals. However, People with severe allergies may prefer to stay indoors during nearby treatment applications. In 2020, we will also spray 30 sites with a mating disruptor, totaling 159,580 acres in 15 counties. These counties include Bayfield, Buffalo, Burnett, Chippewa, Crawford, Dunn, Grant, Green, Iowa, Lafayette, Polk, Richland, Rusk, Trempolo, and Washburn. These treatments consist of one application and occur from late June to mid-July. Mating Disruptor is an organic, small, waxy droplet infused with female gypsy moth pheromone. When an area is treated, the scent of the female moth floods the area and confuses the male gypsy moths so they cannot find females. This is effective because the gypsy moths are at the end of their life cycle and die without reproducing. The easiest way to view treatment sites is the interactive web map viewer located at this web address. This link is also on the DACAP website at dacap.wi.gov, or you can also contact DACAP directly. Contact information is provided at the end of this presentation. Gypsy moth management is comprised of two elements, trapping and treatment both of which are tied closely to the life cycle and biology of the insect. Gypsy moth eggs are laid in late summer and remain as eggs throughout the winter and early spring. In Wisconsin, eggs hatch in late April to early May. Shortly after the eggs hatch, BTK treatments are applied. This usually occurs in mid-May through early June. BTK treatments are most effective when the caterpillars are small. 
Caterpillars feed and grow throughout June and July, reaching two inches in length. A single caterpillar can consume a square meter of tree leaves in the course of its lifetime. In Wisconsin, caterpillars pupate beginning in late June. This is when mating disruptor treatments are applied. Traps are placed in the beginning of May, so they are in place when adults emerge in early July and males begin to fly, seeking females to reproduce. Traps remain up and catching moths throughout the summer and are taken down in late summer or early fall. Gypsy moth traps are placed every year across western Wisconsin to determine where isolated outlier populations exist. These populations are targeted for treatment in the following year. Traps only catch adult male moths as the females do not fly. Females release a pheromone, or chemical scent, that attracts flying males. Traps work on a similar concept as they contain a small pheromone strip that attracts the males throughout the summer. The traps are green and can be shaped like a tent or a milk carton. Traps are often placed on the side of the road or in public locations, so you may see them across the state. When an outlier population has been selected for treatment, there are two potential options. The first is BTK. The active component of BTK is a naturally occurring soil bacterium, Bacillus thuringiensis, variation Kirstaki. This bacteria interferes with the digestive system of small gypsy moth caterpillars. This product is environmentally friendly and is used in areas known for dense populations of gypsy moth. The product we will be using is called Foray 48B, a product produced by Valent Biosciences. It is a registered organic product with the Organic Materials Review Institute, or OMRI. This product has been regularly used for decades in Wisconsin and across the U.S. for gypsy moth control programs. The second gypsy moth treatment option is a mating disruptor. This strategy involves treating an area with gypsy moth pheromone to inhibit the male moth's ability to locate females. This product is non-toxic and inhibits their ability to reproduce. This treatment strategy is only successful in low density populations along the leading edge of the expanding range of gypsy moth. This treatment is applied as a small waxy droplet embedded with gypsy moth pheromone. The product is biodegradable and slowly releases the pheromone for two months after application. The trade name of the product being used is SPLAT, Gypsy Moth Organic, produced by ISCA Technologies. It is a certified organic product by the USDA's National Organic Program. Mating Disruptor has been used as a control strategy for Gypsy Moth since the early 1990s. What to expect the day of treatment? All treatments are applied by small yellow airplanes. Treatments begin early in the morning, just after sunrise, due to the need for low wind and high humidity. The planes are loud and they fly very low. Although planes follow specific flight plans, pilots turn off the spray when going over areas such as open water, crop fields, and prairies. There are a variety of ways to contact us or find more information about our operations. We have a toll-free hotline number where you can talk directly to staff, leave a message, or hear a pre-recorded message on treatment plans. You can email us at gypsymoth at wisconsin.gov, the DATCAP Gypsy Moth website at the address listed on this presentation also contains extensive information about Gypsy Moth, our treatment program, and helpful links to other resources. Please also visit our interactive web map, which shows treatment locations across the state. Daily updates are posted by county on our DATCAP Facebook and Twitter accounts. Additionally, all addresses within or near treatment sites will receive a notification postcard with our contact information. Thank you.